All right, so I know there's been a lot of talk, a lot of talk about Postscriptum, whether we're gonna be doing one life events, we're gonna have servers for it or anything like that. Yes, we will have a public server for it. Uh, however, for the one life events, that will be TBD still to be determined. Uh, there's just, it's, it's not released. So we don't know what all we're going to get ourselves into with that, you know, a bunch of other logistical things as well. But when it does come out, we will have a public server for it. That way you all can have your little whitelist over there as well. Um, SOTT, they're looking for recruits. So if you want to apply for SOTT, go up to the Rebe channel, go all the way down to important leaks and click on staff applications. From there, you can just fill out what you want to join. But SOTT is looking for recruits right now. Uh, to do squad ops mod. I know you all been looking forward for that. Uh, it's been down for a while. Unfortunately, it is still down. However, the SDK did finally get released. So hopefully by this Friday, we might have something and works to where we could test it out. And if it's good, we'll press on with it. If it's not, then obviously we'll have to do some more things to it as well. But hopefully by this Friday, it's not a definite, but hopefully by Friday, we'll have something for you guys. Um, also, for this month, we have SUL. Uh, whoever's hot mic, can you please unmute yourself? Uh, we do have SUL. However, that is being prioritized for regulars and above. Uh, they are going to get uh, the shoe in before the public people do, just because we need to get them up to speed. Uh, it's nothing against you guys. Uh, we are trying to keep it out there for you, but they need to get to speed first before you know we actually go to public. Uh, so if you do get skipped in there, sorry, uh, it's, it, it might happen. It might not. You know, it depends on how many people, are, uh, how many staff and uh, regulars uh, are signed up. But they do have the priority for this month. And. Uh, that's it. That's that's all we have. Uh, is there any questions? Do I want to ask? Oh, also, we will be giving away a squad key for this. So make sure you go over into the stream and have that open. And when it comes time to do the giveaway, I'll let you know what keyword to type in and we'll go from there. Let me open up the community channel now. All right. Uh, is basic still on for the for Thursday this week? Uh, Flapjack asks. Yes, will always be. Don't worry about that. If we, if we ever cancel an event, it's because there's nobody here, right? Uh, so that will always be put on. When will SULB? Look on the calendar, Jenkins. Uh, da, 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 da. Get your questions out, people. Now is the time. Thank you, Bagger Joe. That's awesome of you. He unregistered for the SUL. So that Jenkins in. Hey, wait them. Hey, Cyber Viber. All right, I'm talking to the chat too inside the stream. No question. Just wanted to say hi. Just signed up. That was uh, by Paco Paragon. Awesome. Welcome to the community, buddy. Uh, since you just got here, definitely look into uh, the Reaping channel. I know it's a lot of information. You don't have to take it all in at once. Uh, however, it is a lot of important information to get you ready and know what we are about. Um, let me see. Theory asks, what positions is SOT looking for? It's SOTT. You'll be an instructor. That's what they're looking for. There's like no like there's like no breakdown of anything inside of SOTT. They're all instructors, so that's what you'll be signing up for is to instruct classes. Uh, it's on the uh, application page. It'll let you know what it means to be uh, coming up in there. Uh, so will sinful groove asks, uh, are there are there any plans with the mod to remove all optics they put onto every single emplacement in the game so we can use them in ops again? Hmm. Really. You just said, okay, thanks, Karma, for doing that. Uh, for the optics, uh, no. Um, every single client placement in the game so we can use them in ops again? Okay, that, that's like a weirded question. I think you're trying to say, are we going to remove them all so that way we can use the, sub, uh, the uh, machine guns and stuff like that again? Uh, as of right now, uh, that's not planned. Uh, that's something that could happen though so uh look for that in the future maybe possibly uh, however as usual you know we try to keep it fair play with no optics in the game uh even if it's just the slightest magnification 
the only thing that's really allowed is the red dot. But we do know, like with the British, there is that there. So uh, do look for probably maybe, maybe that happening. Uh, tanks. Don't know when tanks are going to come out, Sergeant JC. That's all at the OWI when they decide to release them to us. Uh, Serrano asks, when will the website be updated to reflect there are no forums? It's quite confusing to new people. Well, the funny thing you mentioned that, uh, forums are coming back. Not right away, but they are coming back. So that may not get fixed, actually. Except to Barton if he really wants to take it out. So yell at Barton if you want that done. Uh, Flapjack uh, asks question, will there ever be a squad ops versus like another serious group name? We've played around with that idea before uh, a while ago. Uh, nothing really ever came of it. Um, we thought about it. The only thing that would suck is that uh, like a drawback would be is it would take away from you guys. You know, uh, it would leave like the public outside and you wouldn't be able to play in the op. But again, that could be only like once a month, you know, who knows? Uh, we've talked about it. I'll bring it back up again with the other managers and uh, whatnot and go from there and uh, fill you in from the next meeting. I'll make sure to keep it. Uh, want to clarify about the SUL. Staff, it gets the priority, not the regular, not just regulars, but staff does. So regulars, sorry, you don't get priority. Staff does. Uh, where did I leave off on? Viper 45 asks, question, when will you have the next WS? That will probably be next month. It's hard to fill in all the uh, SOTTs into one month, especially now that there's multiple of them now. So some things get traded out here and there, you know, so it's, it's really hard, especially since basic is also like the priority kind of type thing, because that's what's needed to actually play inside the event. All the other ones are just for you guys to play into if you want to or uh, sign up for if you want to. It gives you preference over that, but it doesn't like guarantee you that you'll get that role. Uh, Sergeant JC, the tank be in operation next update? I don't know. That's up to uh, XBIT if he allows it. Uh, however, it's, 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 I believe it has optics, so it probably may, it may not. I don't know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, Paco Paragon asks, if helicopters ever come out, will that be covered under vehicle training or will it be separate? So whenever like they introduce new stuff, whether it be for like maybe AWS or like a new weapon and it can fall under AWS or uh, a new vehicle, usually what happens is SOTT will just update that course, uh, that specific course, and then just continue on from there. Uh, they have talked about doing a refresher, uh, which is uh, kind of like a a all-in-one, all-encompassing of like each uh, thing, uh, AWS, vehicle, and all that. Uh, they have talked about that. We've, um, nothing's come of it yet. They're still working out some kinks and uh, ironing out everything. Uh, but do look for that at maybe like, let's, we'll, we'll just say like about four months down the road. It could be earlier than that, but I'm just going to put four months, uh, just four months down the road for right now. But don't quote me on that. Uh, Stolen S asks, is there an easy way to figure out how many ops you've been in besides... No, there isn't, unfortunately. Uh, we don't have track of that yet. Um, Barton, well, I wouldn't say public knowledge. It's not going to be trackable. However, uh, I think Barton, if correct me if I'm wrong, you have something that is tracking it. It's just not there, right? Like, we don't see anything like that, right? Barton's not here. Barton's not here. Okay. So don't quote me on that. I think Barton does have a tracking ability. It's just not uh, there. However, actually he does. Uh, when forums come up and we are when we come back with the uh, badges on the forums, that's how you'll know uh, how many ops you've been in, at least for the new ones anyway. Okay, there you go. There's his answer. Uh, 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 uh. Bega Joe, obviously you should know a little more than the basics of squad before applying for SOTT, but is there any experience requirements to be accepted? No, there really isn't. There's no requirements. Uh, just, you know, be respectable. Be yourself. Don't, don't be an idiot. You know, don't be a troll. Uh, if, you're, if that's what you want to do, then don't, don't, don't come around here then. <laughs> 
but no, it's, there's really no requirements. Uh, everything is li will literally be taught to you on how to do stuff. And they have a pretty good program at that. And it does take a while to go through. Uh, B asks, has there been any thoughts towards a CQB SOTT course? Mm -hmm. Yes, but it will not be offered. Uh, the only reason why I say it won't be offered is because there's just so much you can go over in a CQB. Like, I mean, a lot. And honestly, there's really no CQB weapons. Like, we don't have shotguns, you know. I mean, you have grenades. Uh, there's no really CQB type weapons. However, I will say that I believe, uh, if I remember right, for that refresher course, if we're going to talk about a, just a little bit about a CQB thing. Um, and also, well, I would, I'll take that back. It wouldn't be a lot to cover a CQB. It'd be a very minuscule to where it's like, it would be hard to give it some class or even to mix it in with another class because it wouldn't go hand in hand with each other, if I remember right. I think that's how it uh, was uh, said. And there's Karma Cut saying, remember the squad can give away, which will be inside the Twitch channel. You can find that in announcements uh, to get there. If not, it's going to be www.twitch.tv slash squad ops. Uh, do, 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 do you have to be a sub? No, you do not have to be a sub. Uh, SOTT was just one big group. SOTT is just one big group, Joe. Um, that's Wadworths. Will there ever be, will there ever be a chance for non-regulars to squad lead in ops events? No. I'm going to put that out. I'm going to put that flame out right now. Wherever that got started at, no. Public people will not be squad leading in uh, events. You will not be able to sign up for it. Yeah, it may get handed down to you. You know, obviously that may happen once that squad leader goes down. However, you will not be a squad leader uh, from the get-go of the operation. Holy wall of text. Okay, let me get to this real quick. Theory asks, how active does one have to be to be considered a regular? Uh, just play in our uh, squad ops events. Obviously, that's going to get you the most recognized and being here in Discord. Those are two main places that's going to get you recognized really quick and really fast. Uh, however, you uh, don't have to do that. You can also play in our uh, public servers. Uh, I would say participate in forums, but <clears throat> forums are not around yet. <clears throat> Pardon. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Those three things. Um, however, being here in Discord and being in uh, ops is going to get you recognized. Okay, let me go over this. Uh, Howler, have a bit of a recommendation regarding fire teams and squad ops. Would be me. Refix of their fire team. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've done it in the past before, Howler. Um, that's up to the squad leader if that's what they want to do or not. What he was talking about is uh, having fire teams set up with their own prefixes. So, like, squad A will be in front of their names A uh, or squad A or whatever it may be, you know, in front of their names inside the game as a tag. But, I mean, that's up to the SL. You don't have to do that. Not, it's not required. Uh, that's just if they want to do that or not. Any other questions? Did I skip over a question at all? Let me scroll up, make sure. Have I clearly answered everybody's question so far? If not, please let me know. And I'll go into it some more if I need to. That was last month's questions. Huh. Way too far back. Remember, don't forget, we're giving away a squad key. Even if you have squad, you can give it away to a friend if you win it. You know, that doesn't have it. That may wants it. Or a family member. Where was the SL survey? I do not remember seeing a question about that. Yeah, there's no question about that. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Atomic. Uh, sorry, I was scrolled up. I didn't realize he uh, reposted it. Uh, Atomic Peach asks, has there been thoughts of implementing a commander slash SL grading slash ranking slash feedback form that anyone that played in the op can fill out to provide areas to improve? Hmm. That's a lot of info to go over. Wow. Uh, we could try that. I mean, it, I'm not saying it will happen. But we can bring that up in the next staff meeting. Why didn't you bring that up in a staff meeting, Tomic? Because I just remembered it. No, talk. Cyber <laughs> uh, uh, Viper, Viper 45 asks, if I end up having to do something and I'm signed up for SOTT basic training, will I be able to 
unsigned before it. Yes. All you got to do is same thing as you uh, register. You just go in there and you just click unregister. That's all you got to do if you can get to it. If you can't unregister yourself because, like say, you can't for some reason get to the website or whatever it may be, uh, but you can get inside Discord, ping uh, SOTT and let them know that you're not going to be able to make it. It helps them out. Subject, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, Meat Shield asks, have they integrated turret stability in the MATVs and strikers? Stability? I mean, have they always been stability? Stabilized? I never had a problem with them. No, no, they haven't. They haven't yet. Not yet. Soon. It was teased in the recap. What's wrong with them? I haven't even noticed anything wrong with them. Uh, stable, turret stabilization for when you're on the move. Oh, okay. That's okay. I thought he was talking, okay. I was thinking of it like a totally different way. Like when you're firing the gun, like is, is it like fucking up? I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. Gotcha. Any thoughts on TO and SQD playing on squad up servers? What do you mean? Public servers? They play on them usually. Uh, HML asks, when can we expect the mod being up to date? <laughs> you son of a bitch. You must have just got here. Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, this Friday, we might have a test session ready to go uh, for it, uh, hopefully. And if it works out good, then obviously we'll enroll it into everything else. But if it doesn't work out again, then we'll have to go back and redesign stuff, whatever it may be, whatever the mod dev team, uh, team needs to do. But as of right now, Friday, so far, might be able to do one. But we won't know. For sure. It's not, defi it's not definitive yet. Um, Becca Joe asks, will SNS ever be open to non regs I don't know. Uh, you should go to their Discord and ask that. Oh, wait, never mind. You can't. <laughs> uh, as of right now, yeah, it's locked. So, um, Sugar asks, has there been further discussion about having the squad ops or uh, the squad Olympics? Holy crap. Thank you for bringing that up. Oh my God. I wish you would have freaking, uh, uh, we're going to have to talk about that. Uh, I'll make sure to write, let me write that down right now. That is something we did totally forget to talk about. Thank you for mentioning that. All right. We'll make sure to talk about that uh, next time. Uh, not for community, but, you know, for us. Uh, Thoughts for asks, is there a place I can report bugs found in the website slash bot? Uh, for us? Yeah. Uh, DM, bar, uh, or you can at Barton or DM Barton. He's the one that does it. Or I believe Silent as well. Yeah, Silent. He should be able to help you with that as well. Uh, um, Sinful Groove asks, is reading the op doc and pre-group going to be a standard now going forward? I feel like the last uh, op where it was done and re in resulted in the most confusion, confusion about what was going on than any other op I've ever played in. <laughs> uh, Xbit, are you here? Probably not. Or is there anybody in here from... Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep on doing that. I just sent you a DM. If there's any confusion, let me know, and we'll try to fix that. Uh, Barton, uh, the thing was asked, uh, is there a place I can report bugs found in the website slash bot? And as of right now, all they can do is either DM oh, like, you, well, the thing you or write down, But don't worry about it. But the thing I had to write down? Oh, it was just Squad Ops Olympics. Because uh, oh. it was asked in the last community yeah. meeting, yeah. and we totally forgot to talk about it. Um... Oh, I just saw you fit flash board. Okay. Uh, Liberal Pundit asks, when giving rules in pre-op, can you add the verbiage red blood drop over body besides the mention of the electric sign to the medics? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that makes sense. Also, you should know, too, that, like, if the person's down on the ground, obviously they're dead. So, I mean, it's kind of obvious that they're laying on the ground dead. Don't pick them up. If you have to apply a bandage to get them to revive, then that's, they're dead. But that makes sense. Totally get what you're saying, Liberal Pundit. All right, so DM only, uh, Barton, about any bugs for the website or the bot. Uh, Sergeant JC asks, Squad Ops ever reenactment real-life battles like Operation Iraqi Freedom or Battle of Baghdad? No. Uh, we have not done that. We usually just go with our own uh, 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 operations. Uh, actually, XBIT is the one that actually designs all the operations. 
he gets a little bit of a and, and if you guys have any kind of like uh thoughts of an operation you can dm expert um he's welcome to ideas and stuff uh, but that is a good question that's something i can bring up expert uh hold on i'm going to talk in the chat real quick for uh, the stream uh yes paragon war you did hear about a key we will be giving one away here in a little bit um if you ask how come there's no aws website because look at how many we have basic we have aws we have vehicle we have ftl sul uh i know i'm missing something else there's another one i'm missing uh it's hard to fit every single one of them in an operate or in one month also basic since basic is the one that needs to be done to play an event that's going to get offered just a little bit more than the others uh hellcat asks is there any oh, okay never mind he's just kidding I'm gonna skip that one subject uh asks is there any way to help with squad operations as in terms of creating them or setting them up example well uh so what you're talking about with armor three Zeus missions? No, that that won't like a Zeus way. That won't. Be, that's nothing like that in uh, squad at all. However, uh, like I said earlier, you can DM expert if you have any kind of like thoughts of an operation. Bagger Joe asks, custom servers never stay popped. Uh, wait, what are we talking about here? Oh, Seabass. Oh, okay, I see it now. He asks, have you talked about hardcore mod for the EPUB server? Uh, no, I have not. That is still being worked on. Uh, don't look for that to be done anytime soon. Uh, since, especially since the SDK is broken. Well, I wouldn't say broken. They released it. But since it is kind of messed up right now. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we are still looking into doing that. It just got set back a little bit because of that. Um... Custom servers can stay popped as long as you, you know, do it just right, Becca Joe. Like having a hardcore mod for a server. I'm pretty sure a lot of people, like actually we've been asked about that a lot. Seems to be a really big demand of it. Uh, Shissi Slav asks, how do you think Squad Ops is going to integrate aircraft and tanks into ops when they are added? Mostly aircraft. Um, oh, we just do as we always do. See how they are, work with them, uh, see what we how, how we can implement them to an op. And uh, go from there. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then you know we'll try to see how we can debuff it a little more. Um, but we'll always try to do everything we can to add uh, that stuff in. Uh, just really good roof. Okay. Uh, Cyber Viper uh, forty five asks: Once you are basic certified, you once you are basic certified, you don't have to do it again to do ops. No. Once you do it once, that's it. That's all you need. Don't need to do it again, buddy. Jack, did you talk about the SHT thing, Hyper? Yes, I did, Jack. <laughs> Barton, obviously you weren't paying attention. Yes, I did. I already went over it. I went over it in the beginning. Uh, you, oh, you want to know what the squad key is? Uh, go to Twitch dot tv slash squad ops and just chill in there and you'll find out what it is if you win uh okay i'm gonna pause right here real quick and i'll get to your question next however let's uh be here we've been going on this for about 27 minutes yeah let's go ahead and do uh do the the uh, key giveaway so everybody hurry up get your asses over to uh the channel uh you can see it in announcements it is linked in there and also uh there is, uh, shit, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh, the link or the address to it is www.twitch.tv uh, twitch slash squad ops. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the giveaway right now just because it is getting a little late for some people and I don't wanna keep, keep them here too long. So get over there, get your butts in there. Let me open up this. All right, uh, do, 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 do. let me bring this over here. Boo -boo. Okay, so in order to get into this uh, giveaway, the word you're going to have to say or type out and enter is squad ops, all lowercase. That is squad ops, all lowercase. So type it in now.
I'll let it roll for a little bit here. And while we, uh, while you guys are talking or doing that, let me go ahead and go back over to the community mini channel. Okay, uh, HML, you asked if Squad Ops does start doing ops for PS, will you have a separate Discord server for it? Uh, maybe, maybe not. We don't know. You know, I mean, it's as of right now, probably not. Just so that way we can keep track of things a little more easier. Um, but I mean, that's way down the road. I mean, that is like way down the road. We won't even know if we actually will or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's so far down the road. The game's not even released yet. So. Is there an age limit to be staff? Uh, I want to say... Karma, check your ping before I say it. Oh, so it's just that now. Okay, I could have swore it was strictly... Okay. All right, so... Uh, the age limit is really no age limit. As long as you can act as an 18 plus for maturity level. Right? So 18 or older as a maturity level. So, I mean, obviously, treat everybody with respect. Be nice. Uh, treat how you want to be treated. You know? Don't be a butthead. That's all we ask for. You know? All right, people. I'm about to roll this key. Better get your dang uh, names in. Or names in. Better get squad ops uh, put in. Getting so many pings now. All right. Hopefully everybody's... Why? Wait, hold on. Why, Karma? Why is nobody inside here? It's one word. Remember, it's one word, guys. It's not two words. It's one word. Are you in the squad incognito one, word. one? Or are you in your channel? One? I'm in my... I know I'm in... I'm in squad ops. Why do I not see zero... Or why do I see zero eligible users? Try, just try the active. All right. Start typing everything in. Type whatever you want. There's nothing. All right. Here, hold on. See? Yeah. Oh, that's easy. It's easy, I tell you. Hold on, hold on. It's so easy. <laughs> it shouldn't be... An issue. Yeah, it's saying zero eligible users for me. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, do I got to click on roll it? Yeah, you got to click on roll it. See, if I click that, I thought, I thought, yeah, there are no eligible users to win the giveaway. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Is Nightbot have moderating powers inside? Yeah. Shouldn't matter. All right, let me roll. What the fuck? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 we got one eligible user. Two. Keep, okay, right. keep typing, guys. Yeah. Keep typing. Keep typing. There it goes. Yeah, it's working. Squad ops. There you go. Yep, spam. Squad ops, one yep, word. There it goes. It yeah, doesn't matter. It, it could be one or two. It, it, they could type in literally anything right now. Oh, you're I'm doing active? User. Okay, yeah, 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 I'm just using active. It's starting to fucking bring everybody in now. I'll wait a little bit longer, just in case. Um, okay, uh, let me see. What have I missed so far? Civil group asks, this might be a bit premature, seeing as mod support has been screwed for a bit, but it is the end goal for custom maps to be used on most ops in the future. The past ones that have been used have been stupid fun, even if they're a little janky. Uh, I mean, we've talked about doing that, but of course, there that comes also with, we got to get permissions to use it from people and stuff like that, you know? So uh, it's not a definite no. It may happen from time to time, but it's also, we are building our own maps as well. But as you can see, we're not prone to not using somebody else's. You know what I'm saying? We're not prone to using somebody else's. There we go. Double negative doesn't make it right. Uh, uh, yes, correct, Wiggles. Sorry. Uh, Parts of all, the, for, to sign up for SOTT, Application is in the readme channel at the bottom underneath the important links. It'll be staff applications. 
Okay. Uh, all right. Let me go on now here. Uh, I got pre- uh, do, 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 do. 50 Slav asks, will there ever be more than three offs a week? Uh, it'll be, that'd be At more in the future. Time, yeah, no. uh, but right now, yeah, mm-hmm. three is the, well, I mean, really think about it, it's more than three a week because we do one on Wednesday, one on Friday, and then two on Saturday. You know, so there's four ops that we run. And then inside of those, there are two sessions of, or uh, not two sessions, there are two rounds a piece. So um, right now, three or three days a week with two on Saturday is, is quite a bit for the tasking of staff, you know, and all of us in here. Um, but as of right now, that's how it's going to stick to. Future, we bring in more staff and get more people. It could open up, but that's down the line. HML asks, do you guys still do playtests for ops? If not, is it planned to bring it back? Playtests, when you say playtests, you mean um, testing uh, operations? Is that asking HML? Okay, I can't scroll down that far. Let me, uh, I'll catch Said- up to you, HML. Um, BKR, why do, okay, nope. Uh, rigged, yeah, it's rigged. I know, guys. There we, okay, yeah, I've already answered that. Okay. Uh, HML, yes, caps. Um, so that's up to XBit if he wants to or not. Um, typically, what we do is obviously Fridays is the testing one. Usually, if it's either not going to be a, uh, that, it'll be a Friday firefight, which typically is a little lower man. But uh, it, it really also depends like how many people we can get inside here to test as well. I mean, if we have enough people, for like staff or regulars and above that show up, and then we won't open it up to public. Um, and so it just all depends on if we get enough uh, regs and above to show up. And that's only if like, you know, obviously if we have people around. But I can bring it up in our meetings about that. Uh, any other questions? Uh, Cyber Viper 45 asks, I may have missed this, but are you guys ever going to do a inbox to where people can send up ideas or is it too much? Uh, I could bring that up, but uh, as of right now, your best bet is just to DM uh, XBit. You're such a liar, Lavtech. Any other questions? Any other questions? Before I start wrapping this up. Oh, dang it. I can't give you perms inside here. Oh, shit. Hold on, Storm. I gotta, shit. I gotta log out, log back in. Um, question just uh, thanks for it. Uh, thank you, Simple Groove. Definitely appreciate it, man. We couldn't do it without all you guys either. Seriously. You guys make us, you guys make it as well. It's not just uh, regs and staff and managers that do this. Uh, we just put it together for you guys. You're all the ones that actually come out and actually plan it. Once for you guys, we wouldn't be able to fucking do this either. So it definitely goes back and forth, hand in hand. Thank you guys for coming out and supporting us. 